and welcome to BSF Recovery Team. Now that we got the front wench working properly, uh, we're going to uh, do a permanent repair to that temporary repair on the cable that we did. So, first thing is we got to take the temporary repair apart. Now, I think this time, since we have it apart, we're going to paint the hook. While we wait for the paint to dry on the hook, I thought I'd take a minute to show you what my plan was. I found this wedge clamp here from a uh, tow truck supply outfit. So that's what we're going to use. My original intent was is to do what they call a Flemish eye. That's where you take the cable and you divide the wire wraps in half and then uh, take the two halves go from each side around the thimble and then weave it back over itself but after reading the instructions for this wedge clamp that is supposedly 90% of the original swagged cable strength we were looking at the instructions, and uh, yeah, we look at instructions occasionally. And uh, it's designed to just have the cable loop back, just to have the cable loop back around the thimble, and then use the wedge clamp, tighten it up to a certain specification. So. Instead of weaving the cable around itself, we're going to try it like the instructions say. But before we do that, we have to wait for the hook to dry. Because the hook I'm using is a swivel hook, which means that we have to put the cable through the hook before we clamp it back on itself. All right, now that our hook is, well, pretty dry, we're going to put it together. It says in the instructions that we must use a thimble which is fine because we already have one. Okay, this part of the new wedge clamp has to go onto the cable first, curved side in towards the wench. And of course we put it around the thimble like we had it before And we're going to use the vice grips to kind of hold that together, I hope.
And of course, that's not as easy as it sounds. We have the cable around our thimble and we have a tail coming out here. Now it says in the instructions that that tail, that that tail needs to protrude past the end of this wedge. Right here and it says about at least the width of the cable. The cable's three eighths, so that's a little more than three eighths of an inch. We got actually almost an inch protruding there, which is sufficient. And then it wants us to put this wedge clamp around it. And squeeze that down. We'll see if we can accomplish that. I think we need to be a little bit closer to the thimble, but we'll see if we can readjust here a little bit. Whoa! <clears throat> Looks like we get to start over. Maybe we can get a couple of tie wraps to give us a little bit of a hand here. Thank you. 
Oh, hey, look at that. That might work. Now we'll see if we can put the two halves on. Okay, now, it also says in the instructions that we need to lubricate these threads. I'm assuming because they're going to get a lot of pressure on them. Okay. Now, the key to this whole operation is it says here that I need to tighten it down on a 3 8 cable until the distance between this hex here and this hex here is 0.19 inches. I think we got a ways to go yet. Okay, let's take a measurement. Looks like we're just a little bit tighter than that, which is fine. Okay, we'll get rid of our little helpers here. And there we have it. That is supposed to be 90% of the original manufactured cable strength. We'll see. I can tell you one thing. We're going to be awful careful the first time we use it. Thanks for watching. BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, stay safe, and maybe we'll see you out in the woods.